okay let's look at question number 15 part a of combined mathematics 2024 paper <laughs> right so it is the integration question so the first part is find a and b such that it satisfies this equation given given to us so let's see how to find that So this is given to us. Right. We can find A and B by comparing the coefficients of terms on both sides. So let's compare T squared terms. So then we are comparing the coefficients on the left hand side we have 3, on the right hand side a times t squared so a and from here we get b t squared so a plus b is equal to 3 that is 1. Then we will compare the constant terms. So if you compare the constant terms, 4 is on this side and on the right hand side we have a times 4, from here no constant terms, so only equal to 4a, so from that we have a is equal to 1, then from 1 we get what? From 1 we get b is equal to 2 right so that part is done then we are supposed to find this integral using this rela relationship we can get the partial fraction form of this given rational function so let's get that form so 3t squared plus 4 is equal to t squared minus 2t plus 4 and b is 2 so 2t t plus 1 right now let's divide this equation by this term the denominator term inside the integral so each term we will divide by t plus 1 over t squared minus 2t plus 4 t plus 1 over times t squared minus 2t plus 4 and this term also by the same denominator So now <coughs> let's cancel any terms we can cancel. So this will cancel with this one, this will cancel with this one and let's write down what is left. So we have 3t plus 4 over t plus 1 times t squared minus 2t plus 4 equal to 1 over t plus 1 <coughs> 1 over t plus 1 plus from here 2t over this term so 2 2t over t squared minus 2t plus 4 right so 
now we have the partial fraction form so now let's integrate this one term by term to get the answer so we're going to integrate each term now right so the first one is what that one is easy just natural log of whatever's in the numerator and then t plus 1 right second one we have to uh, add something to the numerator and subtract the same thing because this requires us to use this integral formula this is this has f dash x over fx form <laughs> then the integral is ln <coughs> absolute value of fx right so find the derivative of the denominator which is what 2t minus t minus 2 2t is already there in the deno in the numerator so minus 2 is missing so we'll add minus 2 and subtract minus 2 then we'll get what 2t minus 2 plus 2 d squared minus 2t plus 4 dt right so now we can group this and again break this integral into two integrals This one is two t minus two over t squared minus two t plus four dt, and now the second integral is two over t squared minus two t plus four dt. Right for the this one, you can use. this integral formula and get the answer so we have ln t plus 1 plus ln t squared minus 2t plus 4 right then we are left with this one this one you have to use uh what uh, tan inverse form so this has 1 over <coughs> x squared plus a squared form you can write it in that form then <coughs> so first you have to write it in this form <coughs> then you can use this one this formula to get the answer 1 over a tan inverse x over a so first you have to write the denominator in this form then apply the formula so let's see how to do that so you can keep two outside so 1 over just uh, complete the square so then t minus <laughs> t minus 1 square mm, plus 4 plus plus 3 so plus 3 so that is what that you can write as root 3 <coughs> square so now this is in the correct form t minus 1 is your x or oh, and 
root 3 is your a so then we can apply the tan inverse formula so we get the answer final answer so ln t plus 1 ln t square minus 2t plus 4 within modulus plus 2 over root 3 tan inverse t minus 1 <coughs> over root 3 and then at the constant of integration so that is the answer for the first part of question number 15 so we are done with that then we will look at part b of question number 15